Okay, today we are going to learn about some different drum beats known as upbeats. Uh, these four upbeat variations uh, start with quarter notes and number one. Number two has eighth notes and number three and number four both have sixteenth notes. So these upbeats, the big concept that you need to walk away with is that we're dealing with the boom bap. The boom of the bap, that's the bass drum and then the snare drum and it just alternates for a count of four. Bass is on one and three and snare drum is on two and four. That's a big thing to think about. Bass, snare, bass, snare. These variations uh, for numbers uh, two and three are only in the hi-hats, the X's at the top, and number four, the variation is in the bass drum only. All right, so just a quick review. Quarter notes right up here at the top. Quarter notes are one beat, single note. They're one beat each. Eighth notes, they're half a beat each. There's two notes per beat, so it takes two of those to equal one uh, quarter note. That's spoken one and, two and, three and, four and. And last for this uh, video is sixteenth notes, which are a quarter uh, beat each. So it takes four of those to equal one quarter note. And those are spoken one e and, a, two e and, a, three e and, a, four e and. A. a quick review on the key. The X is on the top, is the hi-hat symbol. The next one down in the middle is the snare drum. And the lowest one is the bass drum or the kick. So there's your visual representation for the uh, drum notation. Um, and here we are in Logic. Uh, here's the very first one. This has a quarter note bass, <coughs> bass, snare, bass, snare, and also quarter note hi-hats. Please make sure you really take a look at the grid here. So we have beat one, beat two, beat three, and beat four. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. The main option I want you to work with in number one is to play it, um, again, pressing OCT minus. That's taking your keyboard down an octave so that your very first um, note is going to be a bass drum. That's on a C1. Okay, so we're set at uh, 80 for this project. We have our click is on. We're going to take it back to the beginning and we're going to go ahead and record. Two, three, four. And we only need to do one measure, so that's pretty simple. Let's go back to the beginning there. And we all have different colors here. Played uh, Some notes are played harder or uh, softer than others. But what we want to do is go back and select all of these. And we know that we're dealing with quarter notes, so we go ahead and set these uh, notes to quarter notes. And it go, uh, went ahead and uh, quantized it for us. Um, let's take a listen to it now with in reference to the metronome or the click. Good, so you have your quarter notes, one, two, three, four, and you have your bass or kick on one and three, and your snare on two and four. Okay. All right, and go ahead and loop this um, at least eight times so we get that full feel there. And that'll link up with our other project four that we're doing with. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one, take a listen to this one. This now switches our hi-hats to eighth notes. So you can see there's not just one per beat on one, two, three, and four. Now we're dealing with one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and get that up here so we can see this too 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and recreate this one. Again, playing is my preference, just to play it and get a feel for it, so you're playing it like an instrument. And on the fourth one, I'll show you another way that we can um, use the brush tool um, to enter notes as well. There's a couple different options besides uh, using the quantize. All right. So we're doing our eighth note hi-hats now. Again, your click needs to be on. Taking it back to the beginning of the playhead. Two, three, four. And again, we're dealing with just one measure. So you can see that um, I'm off a little bit, came in a little bit late, like usual. Um, same as before. So what we, we could do again is, again, select all. And we're not going to be able to do the quarter notes this time because now we're dealing with uh, eighth notes. So we probably want to switch that to eighth notes. And that syncs up everything pretty nicely. Again, you want one and two. And make sure you're looking at these references of the uh, grid here, four and three and four and. And then still that same boom bap, one, two, uh, three, and four. Good, and again, you want to loop that before you export it. Just a reminder, um, there's a couple different ways to export things. Uh, you would want to go up to File in the top toolbar. Make sure this is the only one that's on. Hopefully you have your other ones muted. Or if you do these one at a time, make sure you have just that one on so you're not hearing multiple drum tracks uh, being uh, bounced at the same time. You're going to go to File. Um, uh, one option is to go to uh, Export and then select as audio file. Your name is already right down here. We don't need a custom name. Um, I, for this one, we don't need to uh, include the volume pan or automation, although I would normally. <clears throat> Make sure you're saving that to your desktop. If you don't see that from your drop-down menu, again, the options also on your left-hand side here. Saving to the desktop, and you can export that. Uh, that's one option. Another option is you can um, uh, share it through iTunes. If that is not an option, if your computer hasn't been uh, updated, uh, song to iTunes. There's your information. We don't need all the date and time. You can take that out. Uh, highest quality is the default. Uh, I think it shares it as an M4A file, which is fine. And then hit share. That is going to open up um, iTunes automatically, and it should be under your logic file in your uh, left hand side and it'll be the bottom one and again you would drag that to the desktop and then into either uh, Google Drive or Dropbox whatever we happen to be using to uh, turn our assignments in okay so that's number two let's go ahead and mute that one and let's go on to number three now we're using uh, 16th note hi-hats okay so, all right. So this is where you, even for the first couple two, it may be too difficult to actually be able to play uh, the hi hat and the bass and the snare drum. I'm guessing for most of us. So uh, I'll give you another option here. What you can do is you can duplicate this track, Windows D or Apple D. Um, that duplicates an identical track below and what we can do is we can just um, we'll just record the bass and the snare which is again one two three four first one two three four okay so there's that and let's go ahead and we can set this to quarter notes so that cleans that up and then uh, in this second duplicated track, we can work on just the hi-hats. So you can try to go and play it as uh, 16th notes on your uh, F sharp, your first F sharp there. Um, two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, if that uh, worked for you, that's great. Um, Otherwise, if it's, it's a little dicey, then go ahead and switch that to 16th notes. 
that would be one option. Then you would be able to copy that, Windows C or Apple C, and then go to your uh, one of above, take the playhead back to the beginning, paste it, Windows V or Apple V, and now you have the whole drum beat. Um, and you can go ahead and delete that uh, duplicated track. So now we have just this one. Um, looks like it played some, got some extra in there, so you can cut that off, trim it. Okay. Um, if that's not an option, if you're unable to play it that fast, um, you could also uh, use a brush tool. And that's right here in editors or E or the scissors, whatever. Uh, at the very bottom, you're going to click on brush tool. And you know that you're going to be dealing with 16th notes. So making sure that you are uh, set to 16th notes here on your quantize. You're going to find the closed uh, hi hat. Let's see, where is it? It's hi hat open hi-hat foot close and just hi-hat close that's one right here so you're going to start this first one and basically you're going to hold down and just slide right across if you make a mistake it turns into an uh, eraser you can erase those and you get all your 16th note hi-hats um, the velocity is the same or the strength of the volume level is going to be the same we're not going to worry about that but you essentially have the 16 note beat for number three now. And the bass drum and the snare drum are still boom bat, one, two, three, four. For the fourth and final one, um, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one down. This is just another option. Could have done this on some of the other ones too. So one option is to click uh, option and then click and then just pull down it just duplicates it right there for number four for you um, we are going to now uh, delete these we have to change our tool um, I guess we could probably leave it on too but you can change it back and you want to delete these bass and snare drums switch it back to that brush tool we're going to go to 16th notes um, and we are going to uh, brush in some kick drum so being that we are dealing with four sixteenths per quarter note or four sixteenths within this region right here we're going to play on one and then a uh, one not playing on e and a uh, and then you're going to bring your snare on two because again your snare is always going to be on two we'll just do snare center snare is always going to be on snare on two and a snare on four so we're going to do a little syncopated 16 note bass drum one a two and um, rest on three which our normal base is on and then and three E and uh, and we'll do an extra sixteenth note uh, snare here okay so we got a couple extra ones I think I forgot to mute yep that's what happened forgot to mute that one so let's go back Again, you can dupe, uh, uh, loop those eight times. And that's it for your four upbeat variations uh, ranging from uh, quarter notes to eighth note hi-hats to sixteenth note hi-hats to sixteenth note hi-hats and bass drums, uh, bass drum and snare drum.